Okay, here's a quick little video about how to uh, cut a hole in a plastic model airplane. Um, as you can see, I have a stand, but there's no hole. Never fear, um, this can be easily uh, solved, but you have to know how to do it. it it's obvious and, and really kind of uh, trivial once you've seen it done, but if you don't know how to do it, it's... Well, it's nice to have a video like this to watch, learn how it's supposed to be done. The concept is basic. Uh, you, you drill a hole, you drill a couple holes, and you uh, connect them. The connect the dots concept is a big part of my model building. But who am I kidding? The reality of the situation is that why, the reason I made this video is so that I could uh, do what I do best, uh, make fun of uh, somebody. In this case, uh, it's people who use power tools. <laughs> they use power tools on plastic models. I don't know, man. Hey, come on now. <clears throat> Do you really need a power tool to drill a plastic model? Hey, come on. I could even accept the idea that if it was wood, yeah, I probably don't need power tools for uh, soft wood, but plastic? Nah. All you need is a little manual drill. This one came from a kit that uh, I guess is put out by or has an army painter label on it. Um, it's pretty good. I yeah, I've been pr I've been impressed with it so far. Um, drilling these holes is yeah I. It's fairly easy, but um, you may, at some point, need to use a uh, the tip of a hobby knife. Nice pointy tip on that one. To kind of uh, create a pilot hole. And once you have that pilot hole created, then you can put the uh, drill in there and uh, drill a hole. And once you get the holes lined up, you can connect the dots. I'm a big believer in connecting the dots. It's a magical way of doing all kinds of things. Drawing straight lines, painting straight lines, so connect, connect the dots. If you need to um, cut out a panel, drill holes. Then use a sharp knife to connect the, the, the uh, holes. In general, this technology of connecting the dots, it's, I don't even know where to begin. It's fundamental to Western civilization and, uh, I think, Eastern civilization, too. Okay, watch this with the knife. Don't cut yourself here. I, I, I look, right now it looks like I'm getting ready to slice my thumb off, but, uh, no. It helps if you're using a sharp blade. And um, in recent years, X-Acto knife blades have become progressively more and more dull. <laughs> I think you could hack at yourself all day with an X-Acto knife blade, and you'd never get, you know, you'd never get sent to the hospital. But uh, I use blades from our friends at Zona. Uh, they still make sharp blades, but I've also kind of transitioned over to scalpels. But this is one of my last precious Zona blades, and here I am connecting those. Now, once you get one cut then you can just expand from there keep carving keep on carving and eventually you will find yourself with a slot where you can in fact insert the stand tang <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it but it yeah, nah. technically, I think it's a tank. Okay. Don't let the debris fall inside the, the, the aircraft fuselage if you can help it. Because you're going to fought out the engine that way. Let's face it, the whole, you know, the whole nation of Israel could go down in flames because of your ineptitude. Here we go. It goes in with a click. It fits. It's glorious. All right, that's our lesson for today. Please subscribe. I need 500 subscribers to win a fruit basket from YouTube. And uh, furthermore, visit my Patreon. Follow the links below. 
In the meantime, keep hacking that plastic. No, that's not my catchphrase. <laughs>